waiting for me i'm here with the plan that you are looking for the plan that will make you reach your goal the plan to the ultimatum but listen everyone who are watching this video listen this plan will make you put into a lot of hard work literally you need to put in everything you have but there are people who are yet not serious about their preparation and there are guys who think that this exam won't happen due to third wave this video is not for those guys you can quit this video right now don't waste your time and one more thing if you miss any bit of this video you will be at great loss either guidance or motivation and everything so don't watch this video in 2x speed or skip it but this plan is for those guys who are craving for the exam who are ready to work hard with determination and who are waiting to give their best you guys will get everything from this video and in my last video the 21 day challenge i have told you that if you have followed that plan then definitely you will get back on track and you will have that flow of study and also in that 21 day plan i have told after ending of this plan if the exam date is announced then i will definitely start phase 2 this is that phase 2 i will be telling you everything that you need to do and also everything that you need not do but before that did you subscribe to my channel dr jtm if not go subscribe to my channel and also click bell icon for notifications with no delay let's start the ultimatum hey guys this is dr jt general medicine resident and a part time youtuber and i welcome you to my channel dr jtm if you are loving my work then definitely you can buy me a coffee the link to my creators profile is given below and also guys did you get my revision stick notes and also spot revision medicine notes if not go get them the links to download those pdf is given below those will be your revision companions that will save you during this preparation and also many were asking me when will i release the other subject spot revision notes then here is the news i'll be releasing the surgery spot revision notes this 24th keep watching my channel and do follow me on my instagram because i'll be posting medicine snippets daily till the neat pg exam don't miss them the link to my instagram profile is given below everyone have complained so far that they couldn't study just because of the uncertainty yes but now the date is announced that means you have motives to study that means you have a target to hit that is why i have crafted a 42 day study plan what 42 days there are about 52 to 54 days don't worry in the next minute i'll be clarifying every doubt that is running in your mind first thing why only 42 days as i always tell you in the last 7 to 10 days of neat pg preparation we'll be really anxious and in confusion that what to study and what not to study and we want to study every subject and we couldn't really concentrate on only one subject that is why during that 7 to 10 days you need to have a different approach i have uh, made a video already on that you can check that in the final phase of your neat pg preparation and second thing i am posting this video in the weekend that means many people watch this after 2 to 3 days when they see it they might feel they have lost few days no you won't just spare 7 days before the neat pg exam and you can start this plan and third thing this plan will be working enough for those people who are preparing only for neat pg and also those people who want to start their preparation after any set exam and also the fresh batch of post interns so as i said this plan is the ultimatum it will cover each and everyone who are attempting this neat pg exam so keep watching till the end don't miss anything so now let me bring in the double mountain method the four pattern schedules 7 days 14 days 7 days 14 days that means you will be in a schedule for 7 days then 14 days then again 7 days then again 14 days why did i make in this way as i always say that we need to tune in our body and mind to hard work gradually and not like all of a sudden i want to open the books and work hard for 15 to 16 hours daily to study for at a stretch of 55 days that won't work so you will reach a point of exhaustion if you do that way and you will message me asking what to do so when you have 7 14 7 14 your mind will think that okay let me start with a 7 day schedule which is small i can read it and i can work on it then later on when the 14 day schedule start you are already into the flow of study and you are picking up the pace then you will feel that you want to work more and more and later on after completing the 14 days you will feel that a bit of exhaustion or saturation 
but when you realize that the next schedule is only seven days then definitely your brain again thinks that okay it's just seven days let me work hard again and again when you start the 14 day schedule that means you are almost near to the neat pg exam you are anyways going to work hard and study and complete that schedule this way will actually increase the effectiveness of your work and also efficiency of your preparation and also the flow of study peaks this is the reason it is called as double mountain method and now let me tell you about this plan in much more detailed way so here i'll be telling you the day division hours to study how to study how much to study and when to do mcqs in the morning you need to wake up at 6 am this is mandatory because now the uh, exam timing have been changed you need to habituate to the early morning hours now you need to wake up at uh, almost 5 30 and get ready by 6 am because you need to have a three hour study time at 6 am to 9 am in between that 6 am to 9 am you can have a 20 minute break later on 30 minutes for breakfast and then 30 minutes you need to practice 40 mcqs only because 30 minutes and 40 mcqs less than one minute for one mcq that will actually increase the pace of your uh, practicing of mcq later on from 10 a.m to 1 p.m you will have another study hour for three hours in between which you can take 20 minutes break later on one hour for lunch and again 30 minutes for 40 mcqs then from 2 30 to 5 30 you will have another study hour of three hours in between which you can take 20 minutes break now you'll have a one hour break in the evening now from 6 30 to 9 30 you'll have another study hour for about three hours of a short subject so in the seven days and seven days uh, schedules that i have given i have placed short subjects i will be discussing that in the next slide and later on you take a 30 to 40 minute break for dinner and last 90 minutes that means maybe around 10 to 11 30 or 10 30 to 12 you can practice mcqs or you can take a subject test series or you can take a mini test series is it possible to study for so many hours with consistency and productivity my answer will be no you can't yes you can why did i say you can't because just sitting and studying for hours and hours won't get you any better instead you will feel difficult in urge to complete the study hours but you can do it how studying the smart way is the only way you can be outstanding and consistent and also will get you a good rank but what is the smart way so in order to be productive the entire day which has 12 hours of study time you need to make mini targets macro targets and mega targets what are these mini targets are the small topics that you need to choose from the subject that you are studying for that day and you need to start your preparation from that mini targets in that day when you're pacing up slowly you choose the macro targets then you have to go for mega targets which means the big topics that way you won't get tired and you complete the syllabus with ease the list of topics that you need to study for need pg are written by me and made into pdf and that pdf you can download from the link given below in the description so now i'll be detailing you about the four pattern schedules the seven days 14 days seven days and 14 days in the first seven days you need to study physiology for three days and pharmacology for three days as i have said that you need to study three hours of a short subject daily with physiology and daily with pharmacology what is the short subject that you need to study with physiology that is psychiatry that means daily if you study three hours three hours three hours you will get nine hours of psychiatry in the same way with pharmacology you need to study daily anesthesia for about three hours that means you'll get nine hours of anesthesia and one day left you need to do grand test remember the grand test should be done within three hours only so you will start the grand test in the early in the morning at 6 a.m and you will complete by 9 a.m and you take a break for about one hour later on from 10 a.m to maybe probably in the night you will have a period of almost 10 hours of study time or nine hours of study time you can divide uh, that nine hours for the short subjects like anesthesia and psychiatry here that means you almost get 12 hours for a short subject like anesthesia and psychiatry which is very reasonable that you can complete them within that stipulated time and also you need to have a grand test review at the end of the day uh, for about 90 minutes only within one and a half hour you need to review the grand test uh, in the grand test you just review what are the mistakes that you have done and what are the questions that you have marked for review and what are the questions that you are really uncertain or you have doubt about so let's move on to the second schedule of 14 days surgery for four days ent for two days microbiology for three days ophthalmology for two days and biochemistry for three days 
In this set, you need to do two grand tests that is combined with the ENT and ophthalmology. You can complete the ENT within one and a half day, then you take a grand test and you review the GT within 90 minutes. That also applies same with the ophthalmology. And now let's move on to the third uh, schedule of seven days. Pathology for three days, anatomy for three days. With pathology, I have integrated forensic medicine to be studied daily for about three hours. Likewise, you will get nine hours. With anatomy, I have integrated orthopedics to be studied daily for three hours. Likewise, you will get nine hours. Like we have done in the first seven days, you need to do one grand test only. That too in the early in the morning, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. And you will get about nine hours to 10 hours for this uh, forensic and orthopedics later. So you need to review the grand test again within 90 minutes. Uh, you don't waste much of your time there. And let us move on to the fourth schedule. We have 14 days, medicine, four days, radiology, one day, pediatrics, two days, obscaining, three days, dermatology, one day, PSM, three days. And again, for pediatrics, I have integrated a grand test. And also for PSM, I have integrated a grand test. The same way at the end of the pediatrics or at the end of the PSM, you take a grand test within three hours and also review it within 90 minutes at the end of the day. And one more thing. Uh, you need to study the subjects in this order only because they have an integration within each of them and one by one they have crossover of topics likewise your revision will be completing fast. So next I have something very different for the recent post intern batch who have completed their internship and started their preparation but I'm making it very clear if uh, you guys have started preparation long back maybe in the January or February then definitely what I'm going to give the plan I'm going to give will definitely help you but for those people who have started it in May or June then definitely this is not for you I have made another video already yeah, you can check that in my videos list how to qualify for uh, need PG if you are in, uh, if you are post intern immediate post intern or uh, doing internship go check that out but if you have already entered into preparation, uh, certainly you, are, uh, you have completed few subjects, then definitely this schedule will help you. In the first seven days, complete pharmacology within four days and psychiatry within 1.5 days, anesthesia within 1.5 days. In the next schedule of 14 days, complete microbiology within four days, physiology within four days, ENT two days, biochemistry four days. And next schedule of seven days, complete pathology within four days, forensic within 1.5 days and radiology within 1.5 days. And the next schedule of 14 days, you need to complete anatomy for four days, obscaining for four days, dermatology for two days, and PSM for four days. Likewise, I have completed 42 days and I have given the most high yielding subject. I have placed integrated way and also this will really get you some good marks. If you are lucky enough, you can get a seat in Dame University or as B category seat. And you need to do at least three grand tests during this 42 uh, day period uh, if you are looking for a good score in the uh, NEET PG exam. And don't worry, I'll be giving this PDF to download and the link to download is given below in the description. Go get it. After looking at the schedule, most of the people will ask me, is one revision enough? Can we do two revisions? Yes, you can do two revisions. Like if you have completed a schedule early and you are left with one day extra or one and a half day extra, you can take up a clinical subject and uh, with integration of topics, you can study. But guys, listen, this is not really possible with everyone to do a two revision method because now you're left with two options. One, you can do one revision perfectly and gain confidence or you can do two revisions by being simplified. Decide for yourself. But tell me how confident are you? After all these uncertainties during your preparation, you not being full edge and many might think that we have done multiple revisions, isn't that enough? That's not confidence. That's just a thought that you can do. In this aspect, you need to always have a self-assessment, whether you can do or not. Don't just go with the hype that is going around that some person said you need to do two revisions or you need to do four revisions within 50 days. This might work for few people, but not for everyone, because after all these postponements and the uncertainty, the scenarios and the mindset of student is completely changed. But if you get extra time, you can cover extra topics. Remember that you are beginning the end of your preparation. So begin it to end well. And also, if you have seen the title, the ultimatum, it is a combination of fire and ice. That means you need to have raise in your preparation and also at the same time you need to have calm and composure without getting stressed out and with cool mindset. And this double mountain method, this will start as a small step but it will get better and bigger as you go. This is to make you reach on top of the mountain just to make you look at your success from that mountain. When you put your hard work in this plan, when you put everything in this preparation just to reach the top of that peak, that's when you are all set to fly. Are you ready for that? 
Are you ready to work with raise and calm? Then do it, show it and make it happen. All the best. And that's all for today. Hope you love this video. If so, please do like this video and share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel Dr. JTM and as I said, if you are loving my work, then definitely you can buy me a coffee. The link is given below. And if you still have any doubts or you want to talk anything regarding this study plan or about neat PG preparation, you can ping me on my Telegram or Instagram. The links are given below. I'll be back with another great video. Till then, bye. See you again.